Well, good morning everyone and welcome to Florida Day One from a stunning sunrise out the back of the villa. It's currently half past six in the morning and I've just looked out the back and look at the beautiful sunrise that we've got. The reflections in the lake, absolutely gorgeous. One of the reasons I chose this little villa for the first few nights. So we are up and about, we're gonna have a nice little shower and then we're gonna get to a celebration for our little Starbucks, but just look at that. Couldn't quite make this sunrise at Starbucks at Lake Celebration, but we've got one right outside our back door. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, great start to the day. Gonna head back in and uh, have a shower, finish getting ready. We'll join you in a little bit. But I just wanted you to join me for this little sunrise just to show you. This was one of the reasons I picked it. You could sit out here, have your cup of tea, little coffee, deliberating which park you're going to today, which rides you're gonna do. What snacks you're gonna eat? Oh, I'm excited. Right, best go and get ready, but just how stunning is that? Good morning everyone and uh, again welcome to Florida day one what a gorgeous way to wake up and start the day sunrise the lake the birds are chirping it's amazing that sunrise was stunning this morning our bedroom didn't get the sunrise our bedroom so we opened door, the curtains yeah. and we just watched the sunrise getting ready it's stunning all the colors was absolutely gorgeous wasn't it beautiful yeah. it's still going it's changing by the minute the colors change and everything but there is another lake that um probably does beat this one and, uh, it's actually named after me there is uh, <laughs> it is my lake actually so i need to go and reclaim it that is of course celebration town lake you know we love it there so we're off for starbucks this morning first morning tradition is starbucks on celebration lake you all know it by now but if you are new to the channel uh, that is where we love to go on day one celebration we love it there love the starbucks love the lake the sunrise and oh, oh yeah i can't wait to go to starbucks so yeah, I do joke that they name it after me. Believe it or not, after our last series, I thought it was really cool actually. I don't know if it's still gonna be there or not. Someone actually got one of those little metal plaques engraved and um, I think they cut like Strider was here and then they stuck it on one of the uh, rocking chairs. I'm gonna be looking for that today. They sent me pictures on the group and it was brilliant. So I thought it was really funny and it was there for weeks. There was other subscribers going like, it's still here. But I believe they've replaced some of the chairs and stuff. So I don't know whether it's gone or not. But uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, we love it there. So that's the first job on the agenda. But yeah, just gorgeous waking up here. The aspect is absolutely stunning. Some of these homes, I mean, look at that one over there. Absolutely stunning. Huge as well. But yeah, it's just a gorgeous way to wake up. Look at all the, the mist. And now it's gorgeous, isn't it? Huge. Facing the wrong way for the sunrise, though. We get the sunrise, sunset. We're facing the right way here. Yeah, look at this, you see the steam slowly rolling off the water there. Wow. Right, we've got an action-packed day coming up. We still haven't decided where we're gonna go. We'll have a little chat about that when we're having our coffee and tea at Starbucks by the lake. Yeah. So you got all the gear in our bag. We've taken both sets of passes. We don't know where we're gonna go yet, do we? Yeah. Take family. everything. Jacket just in case it gets cold, well, it's still a bit chilly now. We yeah. should warm up later on. Well, that's what's handy with having the car. You can leave all the stuff in the car, it doesn't matter what you decide yeah. to do. You have a few little backup options if it's hot, cold, whichever park we do. I know, I'm excited. Morning, Dad. Morning. Got you up nice and early, didn't we? Uh, indeed, you know. You're made up though, you're loving that sunrise, aren't you? Well, You've just enjoyed that, I'm haven't just, you? Uh, no. So you're sending all the pictures to your mates. Oh, I'm up there saying where are Look at my morning. sunrise. <laughs> Still sat in the drizzling rain, freezing cold. I love the temperature. You excited for your Starbucks? Yes. Yeah? Just I waiting am. up, waiting on I mum am. now. I'm waiting now. We can see <laughs> what I've got for Starbucks. Hey, you got something, have you? Uh, yes. You know me, you like your turkey bacon thing in there, don't you? That's my little breakfast. Right, okay. Even though it's, what, what quarter past seven, Quarter past seven all the time. He says it's lunchtime. <laughs> As I he have, rubs his belly. I, I have 
I haven't eaten since the plane when we got off. Yeah, you haven't actually, to be fair. You had that pasty, didn't you? That oh, last right, uh, pasty, cheese yeah, pasty. Eaten, so there's my fasting done. All right. You can, now you can munch on. The insulin spike. <laughs> well, we're all locked up. Good to go. Right, let's see what's on the old uh, thermometer then this morning. What temperature are we? 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, here we are then. It's great to be back. There's new benches around. I've seen a new white canopy thing over there, which we'll have a look at. But for now, we've got to head in, pick up the Starbucks first, and then we get to go and sit on the lake. Oh, it's good to be back. Mum's favourite place. Mum was saying coming in, my favourite place. It really is. And at this hour of the morning, half seven, you've got the whole place to yourself. It's gorgeous. So good to be back. If you haven't been here before, Celebration Town, it's not far from Disney. If you're in the car, you can come in, park for free, have a wander around, some stunning homes around here. You can walk around the lake here, walk all the way around. You can rent bikes. There's all kinds you can do here. It's all on our channel from previous trips. You just come, chill, have a coffee. There's like a nice bakery, sweet shop over there. But yeah, definitely come down and give it a whirl. Well, we're all heading in for Starbucks to get the smell. <laughs> Love the proper coffee Starbucks smell. I do still need to stay in that hotel one day. But yeah, I love it here. Love it. Oh, here's my favourite nice lemon loaf there. Here's Dad's turkey bacon will be somewhere. It's on here. They don't keep them in here. And uh, there's your Danish that you like, Mum. The cheese Danish. So is this your favourite Starbucks, Laura? That's the question. 100% favourite. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's got to be, hasn't it? Spot on. Yeah. And then you've got that view, those rock and chairs, it's just stunning. Yeah. Feels so good to be back. Favourite place this, isn't it? Yeah. It is our favourite place. Haha, -ha, you know, it's going to be a good start of the day when you see that. Teas, coffees, pastries, and a proper, proper lemon loaf. A proper lemon slice. Just love it here. It's even got a smell outside. Can you smell like the fresh trees and the bin man's going round? It's pristine in here. This uh, town was actually originally built by Disney, so it has got a really nice vibe to it. But yeah, definitely come down and check this out. I'm sure many of you already have. So many of you tag me in all your pictures and stuff, make me jealous in the Facebook group all the time. Oh, there's normally some gators knocking around in here as well. It's been quite a big, bit of a bigger one knocking about. The uh, last few months see if we see them there's only some turtles as well and beds and and then just over there you've got the uh celebration town diner it's quite good for a breakfast in there a little bit more expensive than your denny's and stuff but it is nice being there a few times Well, there's all new tables and benches. It looks like my Strider bench has gone. I wonder where that, I would have bought that rocking chair. I'd have had that. Here's Dad's tear. He loves this. this. Low calorie. Low calorie. Turkey bacon. And turkey bacon. So Simple, healthy, easy. You know? Mum's on her cheese pastry. Yeah, it's like um, a sweet cream cheese and pastry. Nice. Lovely. And just look at the view you've got. You know what? The sound of the leaf blow was even like that. Don't normally, you wouldn't normally like that, would you? There's been a good, big gator knocking around in here recently. I've seen the pictures, but he doesn't seem to be about today. There's a little turtle over there, a couple of them. 
moving around. And there are not many birds about today either. Mm -hmm. Only a few birds knocking around. Just gorgeous out there. Everyone on their little morning power walk around there. Nice. All right, I'm gonna have a proper, where's the, where's the lemon loaf? Let's show everyone what a proper lemon loaf looks like, Laura. These ones in the UK, you're playing at it. These are the proper ones. Just open that up for me, please. I've only got one hand, sorry. That is a proper lemon loaf with the icing on the top. It is gorgeous. And it smells amazing. Laura's got a gluten-free dream bar. Right, now you've all got a decision to make while you just slowly wake up and munch oh, and look at the lake. You. I can't think straight. Right, I'm well after you've had that, mm -hmm. have a little think about what you'd like to do this morning. Have another one of them. <laughs> A trip to Walmart. Walmart's definitely on the agenda today, but we've got to do something first, I think. Yeah. Have a little thinky. Even mum and dad getting the obligatory uh, celebration <laughs> town <laughs> selfie. Dad did it though and got a selfie with the lamppost first. <laughs> got more lampposts than Lake. <laughs> more lamppost. <laughs> more lamppost than Lake. Look, here I am, guys. <laughs> That was what your first one was like. I just realised it is a bit that. <laughs> <laughs> Get lost. Right, what's going on here? You well, two well, have whipped these I things. Gotta... I know any American viewers are going to be like, what are they? Well, let me tell you, American viewers. These are something we only have in England, where you have your egg and turkey back. Yeah, that we don't have. We don't have. We have special straws. So these are cookie straws. They're like a wafer, chocolate running through them, but they're like a straw, so you can drink your drink through them. So you see the hollow in the middle. And already, Mum's already started munching one. Look, brought them all the way over from the UK. No, Proper Starbucks product. Unfortunately, these. Unfortunately, they, they haven't travelled well in no. the suitcase. But look. But yeah, you get your tea or your all coffee. All you Americans, mm. this is called hot tea. English breakfast tea. Okay. To be fair, in Starbucks, it is normally boiling water. Yeah, I have to say, this tea yeah. is nice. What you do with one of these, you don't do what Lydia does, watch. You drink your tea through it, look. It goes all soggy and melty, look at oh, that. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then you eat the and straw. Then you eat the end. Nice. You have to try it. You have to try it, guys. Cookie straws. And for the sure they probably sell them in Walmart and stuff, but they don't sell them in Starbucks over here. They're not really a Starbucks product. There's probably something similar in Walmart, maybe. But they're well, nice, aren't they? I brought at least half a dozen with you me. You brought loads, didn't you? To have with your, with your coffees. Nice. Oh, you get the taste oh. of the chocolate. Oh, 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 that was a good dunk of that. Look what you've done. You've wasted it. <laughs> you have to be quick no, now. No, no, tell me what it's like with the coffee. No. no. Here right. you go. Right. I've just discovered a new one. <laughs> Say it again. Yeah. It? Oh. Say it again. Oh. Right. <laughs> 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 It is probably Yeah, yeah. They just don't sell them over here. It's just, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Different countries different have different countries. things. Absolutely. And there goes someone my... saying hello there. <laughs> they don't sell my marshmallow bar in England, do you? Now you're your dream bar. Yeah. We've met some lovely subscribers already here just this just this morning. We'll just say hello to this lovely lady. But well, they don't yeah, sell them... cheese Danish here. In, in England, home. no, yeah. I know. No, everywhere's got different ones. Now tell me, you like that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Well, the lovely lady that you saw waving, Gillian and Simon, they've just had a lovely 20 minute chat with them. Uh, they actually own here on Celebration and uh, they're telling us all kinds of different things. Just had a really good, nice, uh, friendly chat. Lovely couple. Uh, tell us a little bit about the the, uh, the new little white stand that we noticed. That's for the father-son dance tomorrow night. Father-daughter dance, father, I should say. Father, <laughs> father, father, son, father, I ain't father, taking son. you. Look at me and you in there, mate. Come on, let's go and rock it. The father-daughter dance on in there. Uh, a couple of other little interesting bits. Just had a real good chat about it. And uh, These are all brand new. All of the benches, the ones that were here before with the originals right back from 25 years ago. These are all brand new. Yeah, they kept having to fix so they like, just let's get new ones. And uh, yeah. apparently, oh. this lady's in all of the celebration groups. The uh, little stride on plaque caused a little bit of controversy. 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 It's, yes, because controversy. It is. It is technically graffiti, so it was removed pretty quickly. But so uh, we've got a decision to make about where we're going. We'll have a little think. But yeah, it's just a nice chat. Drank our coffees. Lovely here. I've it's had time a to stride morning. on now. We've got to get yeah. cracking. That bacon, a turkey, and egg. McMuffin. It's not a McMuffin. Muffin. Yeah. And my straws. I'm set for the day. Nice. I'm set for the day. Well, you best I'd be. Action packed, <laughs> this.
so here we are we've just put our pass passes in to get our free parking now it's coming up to nine o'clock and that's when the park opens so we have come in a little bit of a rush haven't we well we've chosen to come to epcot for a little couple of hours yeah we'll do a couple of bits not major might try and get a lightning lane for guardians you can see all the tents are set up over there for the big marathon this weekend yeah. so we're going to be avoiding the parks the next two days after this so we might as well do a little bit of a Disney fix before a couple of days off. Yeah, I'm really excited because it is the arts festival, it's the festival of the arts, so we enjoyed it last time, didn't we? I love looking at all the artwork, you'll yeah. enjoy that as well, Mum and Dad. Mum yeah. and Dad, have, you haven't, you've not been for Festival of the Arts, have you? Not the arts no, one. No, no we've done Flower and Gods and Food and Wine, but never Festival yeah. of the Arts. No. So I'm really excited to see what art we've got this year, oh, see yeah. if there, there's anything new or anything exciting. Wander around, see what happens. Yeah. I've got room in my suitcase to take oh. anything home. There we nice. go. We might have a little bite to eat in here. We might come yeah. out afterwards and have a bite to eat. We're just taking as it comes to that yeah. day one. Seeing yeah. what happens. I'm excited, really excited. Here we go then, that first sight of the Apcot ball, getting us nice and excited. Ready for this lovely temperature as well. Sun's just starting to warm up a bit now. There's a uh, 70 when we got out of the car, 73, so warming up a little bit. Got a little, uh, we do have to make a reservation as an annual pass holder. We have to make park reservations, but for mum and dad's tickets, you don't have to make any reservations anymore. So I'm going to make a quick park reservation. Then, as soon as we're in, I'm going to try and get a Guardian's uh, Lightning Lane I don't by understand one. why they do that reservation system for us because we can come all year round, so it's good for them to see the numbers. Yeah, see Your what's. Bad, they get two weeks, so as soon as they've checked in their first one, they know they're there for two weeks. They yeah. Know the numbers, rough numbers. They've got to uh, try and regulate it a little bit. We'll get ourselves in. Let's hope, fingers crossed, we get a Lightning Lane. Right, we're in, here we go then, Festival of the Arts. Let's try and make a Guardian's uh, reservation if we can. It's gonna be a busy, busy day. We're only in for a couple of hours. Good to be back. Nice little welcome. Well, we're definitely not getting on Guardian's. The soonest lightning lane available at uh, 15 minutes past nine is at 7.40 p.m. So we'll save that for another day. We're gonna head to uh, Soarin', which is only a 15 minute wait. And it's got the California overlay that mum and dad haven't done, so that'll be good for them. Just have a little mooch, have a wander, see what happens nice in here for a little wander around. So don't forget now, you have got uh, the option to park hop anytime. If you've got a park hopper pass now, you don't have to wait until uh, after 1 p.m. and all of that. You can park hop anytime you want. I'm just going to have a little wander now. This is all open. These lovely gardens are all behind walls. Remember last time we came? There's the Starbucks. Nice to wander through. Grab your coffee, sit here in the nice gardens. It's lovely in here. Nice little statue of Walt there as well. It's lovely. I think Dad's going to go and do a little picture opportunity, but I can't wait for all of these construction walls to all come down. It's gorgeous. Loving the look of this building here with the Epcot ball effect on the side of it. It's going to be gorgeous when it's done. I just can't wait for all the construction walls to be gone. There's our little bin drummers over there good fun i love all the plants as well it's very nice i do like it now it's starting to come together it is looking really good oh it's just great to be back in the disney magic oh look there you go there's pluto here he is hey, hey. gorgeous place for pictures as well look at that for a picture that you can have with the uh, photographer you've got to get one there laura look at that for a view there's me and laura getting a nice picture of the f-cup ball <laughs> mum and dad straight in the queue for pluto look at them when <laughs> he just come in, he's straight in. Look, once this blue so picture, look, do I look good on? Do you think we were holding figment there? Uh, we'll see. You love figment, don't you? You love him. There's a new figment spirit jersey out as well. You oh, should no maybe chance. get that. No chance. Now we'll get a nice little picture here with uh, Pluto. Look, look at him. Look, so now for change and everything. <laughs> I'm having a picture with Pluto, mate. <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> Here you go now, Laura, get in. Laura's going in now. Oh, there you go, nice picture. Thank you. There you go. 
So you've got all lovely places to sit and have a drink, bring your coffee and your bike to eat out, all different types of benches, the ball in the background. Lovely round here, really nice. All the construction going on behind. Quite like the lights as well, cool and modern. So just getting a couple of the memory maker pictures. Don't forget, you can get all of these pictures for free and they go straight to your, uh, your My Disney app. You just scan your card and it'll go to the app. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing some funny ones here. <laughs> he loves it. Loves it. Look at him. There we go. We got it. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. One more time. Yeah, back. Thank oh, you. Oh, my goodness. I wouldn't yeah. hang on to him. I'd let him go. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Careful with this one. Thank you very much, Andy. Right, thank you. And the photographers are great. Really good fun. Oh, really good fun. Great times. <laughs> we just got quite a few of the pictures there. Thank you very much. You just ever, got quite a few pictures. If you ever see a small line to see those guys do it. Yeah, the pictures just are really good it. fun. And we've just done a few there. There's no lines no at all. Lines at all. So we're going to take a right. We're heading towards Soaring. We're going to do Soaring. But this is a different Soaring than you used to, Mum. This has got the California overlay. The original Ooh. California scenes and smells. Ooh. So it's technically a different ride to the one the Soaring that you're used to. So we'll see what you think of it. Yeah. This is the original Soaring that was done in California before they then brought the one over here. So as it's the anniversary, they've brought it over here temporarily. Oh, just temporarily. Yeah, as a bit of a treat for us all. Wow, look, at look at the gardens, are stunning, aren't they? Aren't ladies about to water them all. I can't wait to look at some artwork as well. Yeah. That was good. I'm loving these construction walls coming down. are going to make yeah. a huge difference to this park huge so as it's festival of the arts if you're here during this time you have these fun paint by number walls going on so you can come and grab a brush and a little tub of paint for free it's open from 11 till 5 and you can paint by numbers so this will be a big lovely mural it's brand spanking new this one so it's yet to be painted on later today it will all start to fill in so they'll give you a color they'll give you a sponge and i think you're allowed to fill in i think it was three numbers at a time uh, you're allowed to fill in yeah, there's staff members to explain it all for you. It's just a little bit of free fun for you to do. You come and get the uh, little pots and the little brush there. And then you come and uh, do a little bit of painting by numbers. Something a little bit fun and different. And as always, I love this fountain. It works upside down. And I might even drag Laura on figment this morning just for the fun of it. Laura loves a bit of figment. We all know that. Laura, I know you're itching to go on it, but we're doing soaring first. Come on, come on. We'll do soaring first. I'll take you on it later. I'll take you on it later, I promise. Well, I'm ready to fly over California then. Let me know in the comments, do you prefer the original, this one, California, or the soaring around the world? I do like a bit of both. I love the new smells on this one, flying over the golf course as well. And I'm looking forward, this is like a brand new ride for mum and dad. They've never ever done this, so I'm looking forward to mum and dad coming on this. Something completely new and different for them. They're just saying they're loving the temperature. Loving the temperature, walking around makes I, it so I, much easier when it's not boiling off. I how, how much of hard work it was. How much hard work it was in June. June, July, August, September it is. So if you're coming during those times, you will have a great time. Just be prepared for heat and bring your cooling towels and your fans and try and increase your fitness before you come it is very very hot and humid but uh, these winter months perfect i've just took my sweater off yeah yeah you're still it's in the t-shirt now yeah you still got your sweater on very thin sweater yeah laura's in a thin little denim tennis. jacket yeah i feel the difference a bit more i'm more uh, used to the heat
Well, we've just come off. Great ride, Dad. What did you think, both of you? First time doing it, California. Really good. Really you enjoyed nice. that? Yeah. Different smells. Different smells, different scenes. Does that beat the original? You know, it's getting, it, it, it does. Ah, controversial. Imagine if they put it in Ultra HD. Yeah, it'd be nice. And, and uh, the cuttings weren't as smooth, are no, they? They just no. cut, don't they? But you liked it, yeah? Well, overall, it is what it is, and for its age, amazing. Yeah. I did jump out my, my skin when those aeroplanes came through. When the jets go over, yeah. Oh, so, living with the land is five minutes, or we can save it for another day, and we'll go and see the Moana Gardens. What are you, what are you thinking? You want to do a bit of living with the land? Okay, stride on. The forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. By fish farmers, the sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the temperature of natural resources. Account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Well, that was a lovely little ride, that. I enjoyed that. Dad chilled. We're going to do the behind the seeds tour another day. Uh, for now, though, we're going to head to these Moana Gardens and have a look at these, which we've never seen and Mum and Dad certainly haven't seen. And then we're going to go over and do a little test track if we can. And then see what happens from there. We might try and get in Space 220. We've got no reservation, but don't forget, a lot of these locations, you can try and do a little walk up. Uh, reservation or slink in they might be able to sit you at the bar and things like that so it's always worth a try I right, see the gardens already from here with the jumping water so good to be back in the magic feels so good feels so so good I right, gonna enjoy these these are interactive as well I think you can do different things and make the water move and stuff so this will be good fun but yeah when all these walls come down it is gonna be gorgeous in here it really is questionable theme in, in this park you know you could put certain rides in different parks and things uh, there's arguments that this should really be in, ma in animal kingdom but it is going to be nice when all these construction walls come down it already feels much bigger with just those few down compared to our last trip finding Nemo 25 minutes not too bad do that one another day gotta save some for another day haven't you going really well so far though key thing getting up early getting in here early getting some stuff done nice and early very important biggest recommendation that try and get here for when the parks open you'll get a lot more done okay journey of water inspired by moana Are you ready then dad because there's some interactive things here you can do you can make water move and stuff there are interactive things that you're going to make me do yeah, it might do. See what happens. I don't think you get wet or anything, but <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? Nice little walkthrough. Easy, but nice on the eye. Okay, so this one here, you run your hands through the water, and it's like playing a harp. Run it all the way through, Laura. Look at that. It's cool, isn't it? How cool is that? I like that. Let Dad have a go, Laura. Laura, let Dad have a go. <laughs> you didn't have to go like. <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it? Touch the strings of water. That's clever, isn't it? I was doing it like hard. Good, isn't it? So this is the next one that comes up. This one, I think you wave at Laura and it uh, makes things, makes the water dance and stuff. I love the view with the uh, Epcot ball behind. Right, let's see how dad gets on here. Stand on the spot and wave to the stream in front of you. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Hooray! Oh, there you go, you did it done. <laughs> so you can take the dry or wet path. We'll take the wet path through the little stream here. It's nice, I like it. Something a little bit different, isn't it? Here's another one you can uh, make the water rise to your hand. That's quite cool. Let's do this one. It's good, isn't it? This one's a bit more reactive. Oh, Laura got wet there. Go on, Mom, have a go. This one's a bit more reactive. I would definitely recommend, though, try and do this when you first come in the park. If you want a little bit quieter and do it how you want. There you go. Mum did well there. Yeah, it's a little bit busier. It'd be good to do first thing in the morning, ideally. That's good. There we are. What's he going to do? Ah, look. See, he's doing it. Way. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay, so this one, we've got the dry path to the right, but if you walk through this slowly, it should stop for you. There, look at that. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Go on then. Go on. Go on, quick. Run, run, run. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's clever, isn't it? Go on, Mum. Run. <laughs> ah, clever. Clever. But right, I'm going to go for it. Here we go. <laughs> I could have got wet. If you go too quick, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, wow. This is nice. That's good in here. It is good, fun, interactive. I said to Andrew it would be good to come in first thing in the morning, in the yeah. morning when, it's, when it's empty. Like an hour or so ago. Yeah, you get all your nice pictures, yeah. And get your photos. Definitely, it'd be like, probably nice at night in here as well, all yeah, lit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous views. I love the aspect with the Epcot ball behind. We could have had a, a pass holder preview of this last time we were here, we just didn't get time. It's nice to see it all fully open anyway, without any, any queues and stuff. Okay, go on, Laura. You've got to jump on them over there to, to uh, help send the water back to the sky. Go on, quick. Jump, jump, jump. Go on, jump. Way! Do it again. <laughs> go on, you don't do it, Dad. Go on, jump. <laughs> way, way! That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Funny. That's good, that. Clever. Right, it's time to build our funky car then. Let's build something fun. Oh, okay, right. Let's jump on here, you scan on that. And we're gonna go English. Right, build, build something funky, let's go mad here. Right, let's go, hey, oh, hey. Optimise. Well, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, you're going to stretch. Oh, nice. You're going to stretch out the back there, are you? Okay, we've changed it completely now. Right, next. Here we go. Come on. Stride on. Oh. Uh, you want a little bit longer, not too long. That'll do. That'll do. Nice, nice. Width. I think, that, I think that's a good width. A little bit wide. Okay, we've got an engine. Let's go for, I think that's it, that's all you can put in it. Sculpt. No, we're fine with that. Next. Next. Oh, no, I don't like it in red. Definitely not. Gonna go for a nice, nice funky orangey red. Yeah, nice. The face of it, it's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's a little bit, ooh, oh, it's very ugly. Doesn't look good at all. Wheels. Go for some, don't go for them. Oh, yeah, I like them. There it goes. Accessories. Uh, top sides, rear, go for a little bit of a rear spoiler, yeah, go for that, cool, tail, and a little tail to it as well, there you go, yeah, nice, hood, let's go for a big grill on there, yeah, big dangerous scary hood, there you go, but hey, that's our motor, 
this is a this is one ugly looking car over here. What's happening here? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, what the front of it? It's a bit grim, isn't it? Bloody awful. What's that? Oh, hey, change the face. It's a uh, pull it right down, pull it right down, uh, shove it up, there you go, oh yes. Yeah. Right, accessories, you know, add some stuff to it. <laughs> Put that on it, there, that. Hood. There you go, side. Oh. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse. Oh, hey, oh boy. Right, oh, we've got the wings on. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's some special looking car there. Well, come on. <laughs> it's not too dissimilar to ours, actually, really, Laura. Right, so we'll see who wins then. Oh, here we go. A little bit of test track, good old classic. Looking forward to this being refurbished. You'll have the wind in your hair in a second. Good way to start the day. This will wake us up ready for lunch. Hey, hey. prepare to board. Bring it on. But mind your uh, your hair doesn't fly everywhere. Have you tied it back? <laughs> you tied your hair back just in case. I haven't got a ponytail holder. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put it by your feet, I think. Welcome to the sim track. Hey! Enjoy that? Yeah, Better than you remembered. Not been on it for a while. I was due to be fair, but yeah. Let's see the picture. Oh my! Look at me. What's happening with me there? What am I doing? What's going on there? Look at my hair. Look at mum as well. Look at mum. <laughs> well, I'll have to download that one. That's going on the. Uh, look, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Boy, oh boy, I'm scanning that though. I'm getting that one for sure. Coming there. I know. Look at me. What's happening there? So we got 204 and you got 211. You won. You won. In the middle of the screen at the bottom, you popped up. You were 211. We were 204. I needed a head scarf like Penelope Pinson. <laughs> I enjoyed looking at your hair, at the end was quality. Yeah, look, yeah. matched the Norwegian cruise. <laughs> All over the show. Who was that famous old actor? I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, it was good fun that though, we got a good ride on that and the queue wasn't too bad either, it was bearable so that was good that, good fun. So we're going to quickly ask at Space 220 what are the chances are of a quick little uh, drink or a bite to eat could be uh, impossible but it's always worth a try worth an ask I see people queuing up already we'll pop up and ask but i don't think we're going to be getting in here today unfortunately yeah. okay so we've come for our second starbucks of the day oh. couldn't get in space 220s so we're gonna have a coffee now and then we'll uh head out somewhere on off site for like to eat maybe an IHOP or something yeah. easy. Yeah. Then we're gonna do Walmart. Got a big load of shopping to do. Walmart. So 
So yeah, we'll grab our second Starbucks of the morning. It is getting busy in here now. Really, really busy. It really the was line, important. The yeah. is the biggest I've ever seen. All yeah, the, no, we'll get that another day. It still gets busy. So we'll get a coffee, but we're going to go and sit in that lovely new garden area all day with our coffee. Really nice. Yeah, good, won't it? I like that. So, second little caffeine fix. Got to get all myself all caramelised. And then it's uh, off for a bite to eat. We'll have, I think, somewhere, somewhere on the highway. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's Walmart time. Second little coffee of the day, just chilling. What have you got there, Mum? I don't know, what did you A strawberry cream, strawberry, strawberry cream frappuccino. Is it nice? Yeah. So we're going to chill, enjoy these gardens. Music's nice as well, isn't it? Just relaxing. And actually, you can actually sit out in the sun, can't you, without melting? Yeah. yeah. You still get a tan in this. I like the little, see the little charge points there yeah. behind you. Really? Yeah. There's no way you'd be sitting out here having a coffee in the summer. No, no. <laughs> so we're thinking maybe a little Perkins for lunch before Walmart. Yeah. We haven't been for years. No, no. Perkins is good. Try a Perkins. We've never ever vlogged it on the channel before. Fancy an omelette. Oh yeah, I was thinking you were going to go for a uh, no, tremendous, tremendous twelve. Tremendous twelve. No, no, no. I'm being good. Tremendous twelve is the giant breakfast, isn't it? Then we'll hit up Walmart, and then it's nap time for you. Nap Have a little nap, a chill. Oh, you'll chill be tempted safe. in once you get that oh, smell. Oh, you can smell the bacon it. and the eggs. And I the... won't eat anything to eat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that was a lovely few hours in Epcot. It's getting really busy now, but really nice in there. Good to get back into the magic again. And we're going to go and have a nice bite to eat now. Perkins, never been before. If you're interested in what Perkins is like, it's a bit like an IHOP like a Denny's but probably um, yeah very similar to those very similar we'll show you exactly what they've got on the menu the cake, cake yeah big on the cakes and stuff yeah. I might try one oh, and then yeah. of course it is off to Walmart I know you all love it a bit of American food shopping ah, it's gonna be good it's gonna be good we'll have a look down all the aisles show you all the prices all those goodies all those exciting bits mum and dad will be shopping as well so yeah we'll take you along to that and a little bit of a chill, I think, maybe a little nap. I'll do a bit of editing yeah. and then off out tonight. And it's just it's nice to do little bits and bobs. It's a different kind of holiday with uh, mum and dad. It's not quite as running around, rushed, a bit more chilled, taking Which it a bit more nice. easy. Which yeah, it's nice. nice. We've got 16 days, 15 days, plenty of time. Okay, everyone, everyone, then we are here at Perkins Restaurant and Bakery. If you've been here before, let me know. Big sign on there, two eggs, two bacon, three eggs, and three pancakes, $7.99. Very good value in here. Uh, they've got the little the tourist gift shop over there. Free gift for Perkins customers. This is the one on the 192. And then we're heading over there to Walmart. So you'll notice we're trying to do everything all sort of next to each other, keeping it all nice and easy. So let's head on inside. I've never, ever shown you Perkins on our vlogs before. Been coming here for years, especially as a kid. There's not too many gluten-free options, but Laura's found something that she will have, like a skillet, I think it is. There you go, you can apply for a job in there, Perkins. And this is open from 6 a.m. So if you want a nice breakfast before you go to the parks, and they've got these all over Orlando and Kissimmee. So you will see these. There's probably, I think there's a couple on iDrive and stuff like that. But look at this, the bakery section. Look at all these cakes and muffins and it smells amazing in here as well and if I show you this side look at that chocolate cake wow and that one as well chocolate peanut butter cup these all look amazing oh look at the lemon meringue oh wow wow looks incredible so mum's just pointing out here if you came out the theme park want a little snack half time half price appetizers from 9 p.m Here's our main Hi, menus here. Hi, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Please, may I start with the coffee juice? Uh, coffee. Mm. White coffee, please. I'll have a Sprite, please. Sprite, coffee, and Sprite. Coffee, coffee, please. Okay. Um, I'll check 
wait for Laura to come back and I'll check. She might want a milkshake. Okay, so here's a look at the menu then in Perkins. We've got all kinds of omelettes, different starters, eggs benedict. Do you like a bit of eggs benedict, Dad? Fresh cracked classics. The triple egg day, yeah? That's no. the big one. No, no, that's, no. <laughs> that's the one I like to try and get Dad to have. Corned beef hash and eggs. Fabulous five. So there's some gluten-free options in here. Marked with a, uh, I think it's marked with a GP, is it? I Might be wrong. Oh, we've got griddle grates. Oh, they look good as well. They've got these waffles, buttermilk pancake platters. Oh, build your own. And you have also got burgers and stuff in here as well. The Triple Decker Club. Loads, isn't it? Absolutely loads. This is all the main meals now. You're talking all your fish and chips. Strawberry cream, cheese crispers, mm. savoury skillets. And then what we got here, the butcher's block, a cut above the rest. Look at them. Oh, wow, they look good. Mm. I might try them. What are they? They're pigs in blankets. Oh, pigs in a blanket. I might go for that. They look amazing. I'm going for them. I'm going for it. Oof, look at that. Steak quesadilla. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for them, I think. Steak and pepper skillets. Yeah, Buttermilk yeah. pancake. I don't want the two eggs with a choice of hash browns. Ooh. Okay, so breakfast has arrived. Here's mine. Look at these pancakes with the sausage in the middle. They look amazing. I've got some bacon as well. Dad's omelette. Omelette. Mum's pancakes and potato bacon. Pancakes. Oh, potato pancakes yeah. and bacon. With apple sauce. Oh, interesting. And here's Laura's oh skillet God, as well. It's beautiful. And that steak. Look at that. I'll give you a piece of steak, actually, wow. to try. Look at that. Do I think you'd love it? So that's steak, cheese, potatoes. Peppers and onions, yeah. Nice. Look at that, though. Look at that for a breakfast. Well, that was absolutely unreal. I woofed every bit, it was stunning. Dad's mm. all gone, all cider work. bacon gone, mm. mum's nearly all gone. Yeah. Laura's still cracking on with the skillet. Yeah. That was beautiful though. That was nicer than anything I've had in IHOP or Denny's, that. That was just so unique, it was a lovely idea. Like a sweet version of a hot dog, and oh yeah, it was lovely that. I'd have that again, very mm. nice. What did you think? Well, you know, it, it filled me. I'm fine. I didn't need a tremendous 12. No. Yeah, it wasn't huge, but it, it was enough. Sometimes you don't Absolutely need huge. Absolutely fine. And it was really, really tasty. It was omelette with mushroom, onion, peppers, tomato. Nice. And that's fueled you up ready for a good wander around Walmart I now, thought we were going to Walgreens. No, nope. Walmart. Full, full Monty. Everyone wants to see all the stuff really dad just doesn't get it he just doesn't get it but i know you all do at home you're gonna enjoy a real good wander around walmart walgreens after walmart no <laughs> he gets stressed out with the shopping <laughs> okay well here we go how good a value is that everything we had was 60 dollars. that was a refill sprite refill on the coffee my pigs and blanket there was 9 99 I did add bacon and remove the eggs. So you couldn't do a swap. So I've even paid for bacon. Look at that. There you go. $60. It doesn't tell you what the suggested tip is. So you just have to sort of go with it. $60. It's normally about 15%. Give 70 Yeah. Nice $10 tip for the lady. She was good. Denise. Did you point out that there's an over 55s as well, which is slightly... Yeah. yeah. So the over 50... I did show the menu that there was an over 55 section of the menu, which means that their dinners were uh, cheaper. Yeah. Mum and dad's were a little bit cheaper because they're over 55. No good value if you're going to stock up have a big breakfast before a day in the parks. Can I have a 20 off you? But that was certainly nicer than any. Thanks for just, that just knocked the fork down. But look at what, what have you just done? Toss pot. You can't say that on a vlog. You can. 
Where's the camp Ooh. top pot? I, I dropped a fork in your groins. Yeah. Put food <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but now, if you want to stock up, that's nice than anything I've had in I, I hop or well, uh, Danny's. No. no, if mum clears the plate, it's absolutely bring it again. Yeah. In my opinion, that's uh, nicer than, than I hop and Danny's. Yeah. Well, here we go. Walmart, everyone. I'm sure you're all excited. This is the one on Old Lake Wilson Road, just off the 192. It is massive. We always come to this one and we enjoy a real good mooch around. So uh, make yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a drink. Maybe grab yourself some American snacks if you've got any in the cupboard. Now, for any of you Americans watching, you'll be like, he's just going to the supermarket. What's the deal? But for the Brits and the Europeans, seeing all these American products is a very very interesting and i believe it's likewise for americans watching uk supermarkets seeing different things that are available and prices and stuff but yeah we're gonna have some good fun here we'll show you some of the american sweets and snacks and you'll all be drooling by the end of this so grab yourself some stuff because you're in for a little treat here at walmart here we go instantly greeted by some delicious american cookies so we normally go clockwise around here Maybe we'll mix it up and go from from back to front. We normally go from front to back. Maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. Dad just doesn't get it, but I do. Mum loves it as well. You love mum mooching around, don't you? It's daunting, Dad says. I mean, it, there is like just so many options for everything. Look at the look at the size of the cheese fridge. Right? Are we doing our usual or front to back, or do you want to mix it up and go back to front, or? Front to back. Okay, usual routine. Here we go. Stride on, start with all the fruit then. <laughs> you go and mooch, right. Okay, the popcorn that you like, okay. So we're starting off in all the uh, fruit section here. Laura's drying up some strawberries. Are they little sauces you can dip so that white chocolate and yes, stuff, so is you, it? You microwave them in microwave, the bag. Microwave, snip and drizzle. Yeah. That's a good way of doing it. Laura always loves the grapes. Get yourself some grapes, Laura. $2.68 for a bag, it's not bad. Have a nice little, they're good little snacks, keep you hydrated as well. Yeah, we'll point out some snacks as well that are good for the parks. A lot of you will have seen our vlogs before and seen a lot of the Walmart stuff, but there's a lot of people tune into these vlogs every single day. We get new subscribers and stuff who maybe haven't been to Florida before and don't know all of this stuff. A lot of you watching will be like, yeah, we know all this, but you got to bear in mind there's a lot of viewers that don't know all this stuff as well and might be watching for the first time, looking forward to their first trip to Florida and trying to work out budgets and stuff and see what's available. Big thing of apples, $5 for a bag of apples, good snacks for the parks again as well. Good snacks, bananas, Laura likes their bananas. All of these cakes in the bakery section now, French style cheesecake, look at that, it's like a little pot of goodies oh. chocolate cream there you go classic yellow cake new york cheese cake cannelloni now i had one of these before in my opinion a little bit overrated the carlos ones i mean the way they're packaged makes me feel a bit ill anyway but i just i think they're mass they're made out to be like Carlos has made them himself, but they're like just mass produced sickly cake. I'd rather have one of these Walmart ones than a Carlos one, in my opinion. Yeah, look at that. Nice. They look really dry to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but just that just looks horrendous to me. Oh, Oreo. Uh, what are these? Oreo brownies. Okay, let's keep mooching around. Oh, look at them cakes. I love all the cakes. Let me know in the comments, everyone. What's your favorite thing to buy when you come to these American supermarkets? Is it the cakes? Is it a particular type of crisp? Is it a cereal? Is it a bread? Is it a particular meal? Is it a pack of microwave bacon, which we love? Let me know. Here's all the donuts. Now, the only thing I wish they sold Walmart is Krispy Kreme donuts. They don't sell Krispy Kreme apart from the one, the big boxes with all the Different flavors that I don't eat. Don't like them, yeah. But there's a few Krispy Kremes on the highway we'll be stopping Which at. We'll be stopping, yeah. Yeah, but so, if you just want a big box of donuts for the house, look at that. Loads of them, $6.97 for what's that? 12? 12 donuts? Good value. Here's all your croissants and stuff for breakfast. 
little all butter croissant. Pano chocolate up there. How good are these? I wish I could get these at home. Just a bag of fajita style chicken. So you just pop it out to get your wraps out. Make chicken fajitas really easily. I know it's quite lazy just having the chicken already sliced, but, yeah, but makes it so, busy now. Yeah. so busy. Just wish you could get that. We're gonna pick up some stuff as well. We're gonna pick up some mad foods in here for dad to try on the vlogs. So we'll be uh, picking up some real random stuff to uh, let dad try. Some ice creams and stuff here. Double caramel magnum. Is there anything crazy you can think of getting for dad in a bit? I'll have to have a look in some of the aisles. Some weird, weird flavour crisps and that. All your egos. Double chocolate. Thick and fluffy Belgian style. Don't see the big deal with ego, but they love them over here. Just reminds me of Stranger Things. I always say that. Here you go, buttermilk waffles, staying in the villa off site, you just want to feed yourselves. 24 waffles for $4. Bargain. Nice little breakfast before the uh, parks. Or buy a big bag of 24 pancakes, $4.40. You definitely save. There's loads of good options. If you want to come into Walmart, you want to know what is, what is the own brand of stuff, it is the great value. Blue signs you're looking for. This is the own brand, so it's normally cheaper. So you can see this will be very similar to the, the branded one above. As you're saving about 50 cents there by getting the own brand. But yeah, if you come in, just look for the Great Value Blue sign in Walmart. That's normally their own branded stuff, which is cheaper. These garnet breadsticks look amazing. Won't mind some of them warm, sat by the pool. Look at them as well, the garlic nuts. They look good as well, don't they? Oh, now cheesecakes. Oh, look at that, frozen banana there, Laura. Look at that. A little fro frozen banana bites. Peanut butter in them, I like them. There's uh, some of the key lime pies and stuff. I love a key lime pie. There's one. They do a great value one now, $5.87, that's good. Normally you could only get the Edwards one, which was $6.97. S'mores pie. And a bit of Cool Whip. It's a bit of a uh, family guy. So, other little meals that I personally would eat and uh, to keep an eye out for little Asian dishes and stuff you can have at home. These are new. We can have these at home in the villa. Ooh, creamy chicken and pasta. Wish you could buy all this in Tenerife. Where we live, we don't get any options like this. These ready meals, not only that, Asian favorite. Some of these look absolutely stunning. Chicken with, bro with broccoli fettuccine. These all look really nice as well. Some of this Asian food. Chicken fried rice, spring rolls, egg rolls, and then you've also got Indian up here as well. Look at these chick little Indian cuisine boxes, mango masala. They all look really nice. I'd have any of these for lunch. All these little meals. And then loads of mac and cheese. Look at that though, Laura. Ultimate spicy mac and cheese. That looks good. Might have to give that a try, Laura. Is it? Do you have to? Do you have to do that? Just boil the water to it, or is it like ready made? You just microwave it. You just microwave it. Yeah, you just microwave microwave it. it. I'll try that. Four minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. Spicy mac and cheese. Get it in my basket. Corn dogs. Anyone into these? Little pepperoni sandwiches. See, there's none of this in the UK. These are all very unique. And then of course pop tarts, similar to pop tarts. To these peanut butter and jelly sandwich some mad stuff in here but all these meal deals all these boxes of meals they have all kinds of sweet and sour chicken all kinds meatballs Ooh, wheels and cheese look at them little cheese wheels where's the lamb sauce <laughs> have you not seen the famous reel or meat clip of him saying where's the lamb sauce no. Gordon Ramsay. No, I can't. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> You'll have, a lot of you will have seen it. Look at these power bowls. Healthy options. I will try and show you some of the vegan and gluten free stuff as well along the way. If you are one of those. Or you've got allergies or you like to uh, try and eat healthy. Save a boy pizza. Oh, well, if you are, here's the gluten free pizzas here now. So Laura's got a gluten free pepperoni. Yeah. And that is $11.94. Not cheap. No, not, not the cheapest. 
Whereas compared to the, the great yeah. value, the own brand, you can got five dollars there, but that's not gluten free. But yeah, look at this rising crust pepperoni. Come back from the park, shove it in the oven, five dollars. Job done. You pay that, pay more than that for just a slice yeah. in some places. Now talking of value and prices and everything, in our last series that we did just a month or so ago, uh, it is up on the channel. I'll link it down below. We did do a whole vlog on which was cheaper, Walmart or Target. We showed how many products were available, some price differences between here and Target, another popular supermarket. So if you want to check that one out, it's a full vlog on the channel. I'll link it in the description down below. And we do a lot of price comparisons in terms of milk and cheese and the basics. But we also show how much, uh, how many options and stuff you've got in each, how much variation of different products. I've got to say, definitely in terms of Walmart, there is a great variation here. So many different options. Here's your gluten-free waffles here. Yeah, this is different uh, protein waffles going on as well. No antibiotics, chicken, chicken, chicken and maple sausage, bacon. There you go, veggies made great. Little uh, spinach egg whites. Just loads of products that you just, you wouldn't see this in the UK. And I want you to let me know as well, in the comments, once we've been all the way around, I want you to tell me what you saw on here that jumped out at you, what you saw that looked the most unusual or the most thing that you would try. So far, the spicy mac and cheese is a winner for me. What's that? Cauliflower crust pizza. There you go, the cauliflower, cauliflower. Roasted vegetable, no cheese pizza. Gluten-free pizza and dairy-free. Now, if any of you are fancying a party by the pool, get yourself a box of these then. Smirnoff Ice Party Pack, I'd be down for some of these. I'm not going to, but three screwdrivers, three pink lemonades, three original and three green apple. I'd have one of each and then be on the deck. And that whole box is 20 bucks. Look at it, it's a really cool party pack that. Got a similar one here in the Seagrams. But uh, I've got to say the Smirnoff one looks really good. Now beers, you've got a huge choice, Stella, Heineken. But if you're coming all the way to Orlando or Florida or America, you've got to try some beers that you can't get in the UK. You can get all of this at home, Corona, etc. You want to try some of these Michelobs, you can't get them anywhere. They do quite a few different ones of those. You've got different infused ones with lime and lemon, all kinds of different lagers. I mean, anyone had a Jungling before? Bud Light, of course, as well. I do like a Bud Light. Those tin bottles are quite nice. Again, you've got different flavours infused in them. But yeah, if you're coming over, try some different ones. Miller Light as well. Also quite nice to try. Something a little bit different from the usual that you always get everywhere. And they do these giant cans as well. They're like pint cans. Massive. But yeah, Miller Light. Just... In my opinion, if you like lager, try a lager that you can't just get anywhere. You can get Coronas and Heineken and all yeah. that everywhere. Yeah. Try yeah. a different, different American beer. Yeah, exactly. Jiff to go. You need little pots to dip your pretzels in. They come up with everything, don't they? Look at all these different Nutellas to go. All this different stuff. Local hive, Florida honey. Different honeys and jams. And there's so much. Look how many different jars of... Peanut butter can you get? Creamy, extra creamy, extra smooth, no added sugar. How many variations of peanut butter can you get? Look at it all. Jif stress-free, that's quite nice as well, just a squirty pouch. That's quite uh, easy, easy to do. Then we're into all like coffees and stuff and things that jump out, we will let you know. I'll do you a little, a few little price comparisons for you for anyone who hasn't seen our vlogs before, hasn't shopped in America before. Now, I always say with coffees and teas, they're very lightweight. I would bring this with you in your suitcase, in my opinion. Uh, so mum's done the same. She's brought her own Nescafe, uh, your own tea bags that you like, and you will get them cheaper in the UK in particular than you will over here. For example, this jar of... Uh, Ness Cafe, the regular one is $6.68 plus tax, so that's $7 for a jar of that. I'm sure that would be cheaper in the UK. And you could empty that jar out into a sandwich bag and just bring it with you in your suitcase. It's uh, not a biggie, is it? No. Tea bags as well, they weigh exactly, nothing. Yeah. 
they went off and we'll show you the price of some of the tea bags. However, if you are into your coffees and you like trying different stuff, you've got all kinds here that you could try. There's different like McCafe ones, a Dunkin' Donuts, all different ones, cinnamon ones that you can try. But yeah, if you just like your Nescafe every day, you know what you're having, you won't change your coffee or your tea bags. In my opinion, bring them with you, you'll save a few dollars. So we're now in the international aisle. I've got to start picking up some funny stuff for dad to try. So we get him one of these Chinese drinks, a strawberry flavor. So we get him a melon flavor, melon flavor Japanese drink. Get one of them to try. We've got all these different little biscuits and stuff. What are they, garlic flavor? So we'll try and find some funny stuff for dad to try. So here's all your different tacos. You don't want them if you're on an all carb diet. Look at those hot seasoned taco shells. They look nice, them. Nacho cheese flavor. I just love how you've got everything you need right in front of you, ready to go. All these different options you can try. I'm still mooching. Now, if you've got kids with you, here's a great little option to take to the parks. These boxes of little squeezy yogurts and squeezy, um, like mushed up fruit, all kinds of these different little snack pots and drinks and good source of fibers. These are handy for the parks to take with you. Well, put put in your bag. Kids, just as a little energy boost oh, yeah. for them. Even adults would just drink one of them. Yeah. It's full of all your fruit and that. Gives you a little boost to boost. And then honestly, the rest of this aisle is just beans. Think of a bean and they've got it and a different way of doing a bean and a different size of bean and a different flavor of bean. There is just so many different beans. How many beans do you need? Beanie weenie, <laughs> pork and beans, jalapeno and bacon beans, <laughs> black beans, beef and beans, beef and barbecue beans, maple cured beans. There are a million different beans and now a million different types of, uh, what are these? All different uh, green beans now. <laughs> How many beans do you need? Okay, now the aisle that a lot of you will have been waiting for and have tuned in for, which is the sweet aisle. We've got some pretzel M&Ms, we've got caramel M&Ms, the M&M minis that Laura loves. My favorite, and so are these. Yeah, you like the caramel ones, are really good. I like the caramel ones, all your different Hershey's kisses happening. Rolos, if you know, you know. If you know, you know, the old Rolos. Ooh, Rolos unwrapped, I might get some of them. Yeah, I'm gonna have some of them Rolos unwrapped. They will do me nicely. Thank you very much. I like the Kit Kats over here as well. Kinder Bueno. And then all your different Reese's. If you like your Reese's, loads of them happening. These are one thing I always pick up, Milk Duds. These are lovely. Like um, hard toffee wrapped in chocolate. These are nice. I'm gonna get some of them. What else have we got going on? Sour Patch Kids, different types of Skittles, Milky Way, Three Musketeers. If anyone likes Milky Way, try a Three Musketeers over here. So there's a good section of lower reduced sugar ones and sugar free section as well. Chocolate and sweets for you. Again though, if you think of you, if you're gonna be having, you know, sugar free stuff, try and bring some stuff with you, but you have got some good options to try, some different American stuff to try. Now, the sour skittles over here are completely different to in the UK. They are coated in sour um, sour sugar, which is really good. But I'm gonna try these new ones. These are gummies. So we've got the sour skittles gummies now. I'm gonna try them. But yeah, if you like sour skittles, try the American ones. They're completely different. They have all that naughty sugar on that you're not allowed to have. Sweet and sour. We've gotta find some stuff for daddy here, Laura. Some, some extra sour stuff or something. The Haribo selection, I will say, is very poor over here. Not much happening with them. Now, our microwave bacon is a must. This is bacon that you put in the microwave. Put it in as long as you want, make it go as crispy as you want. It is amazing. It's expensive, but this is good stuff. Give it a try. In the cereal aisle now, I'm just gonna show you some of the keto options, different protein options as well, but there is a lot of, uh, a lot of cereal down here. A lot of, and although a lot of you like to try it, some of these different flavors, it goes on.
of the whole aisle. Lucky Charms, all your different flavoured Cheerios. Captain Crunch's All Berries. Honeycomb. I wouldn't know where to start. I don't eat much cereal when I'm here, but... I mean, if you do, I mean, where do what do you, what do you go for? Reese's Puffs. And a lot of these have got all the sugars and stuff that you can't get in the UK that are all banned. So, I mean, some people would say, obviously, it's banned for a reason, but... Kit Kat cereal. You've even got giant sacks of some of this cereal as well. What do you go for? Cocoa Puffs loaded with vanilla cream filling. Look at that for a cereal. And you've got one with uh, cinnamon as well. Limited edition strawberry and chocolate Cheerios. Crisps now then. Barbecue, all those, let's see if there's any different ones. We're looking for different. Wanna get dad some crazy ones to try as well. Hot fries. Wanna get dad some. Oh, we're looking for mum's popcorn as well, if we see it. Which is uh, like a sweet popcorn. There's some nice ones down there as well with Twix and Snickers mixed in. No, my one is the M&M's one. Yeah, they've got yours and they've got mum's here yet either. All the different crisps. Right, flame Doritos, they're nice, the flaming hot ones. Let's have a look. See if there's anything else. Different flavoured Pringles. Sweet potatoes. Hello. Oh, okay. Uh, Takis, crisps, frago. Gotta find something different for dad here. Drinks now. Here's all your Fanta's, which a lot of you like to try because our Fanta Orange does not look like that in your UK. Certainly not. You've got Fanta Strawberry there as well and also Fanta Grape. Anyone tried the Fanta Grape? I do like grape flavour. I do like the gold grape. Looking for some prime. I do normally get these little mini cans of Dr Pepper as well, a dead handy. I like those little mini cans that you can get. Might get some of those mini Dr Peppers if we see them. Little mini cans, they're just a perfect little drink to uh, keep you going. What are these? Mountain Dew, Zero Sugar, Baja Blast. What flavour is that? Does that mean? Oh, raspberry is it? Ooh. Baja Versary. I don't know what that means. So these are all those mini cans I just mentioned. They're just a little mini can. But you know, if you, if, you know, if you're like me, I only drink half a can, I end up leaving it round. The dead handy, look at them, they're just little nifty cans. There's no Dr Pepper today though, it's a shame. I normally go for Dr Pepper flavour. There's none in the mini cans, only the big cans. Oreos now though, and I've straight away spotted these Space Dunk Limited Edition. Should we try them? Limited Edition Space Dunk Oreos. Let's try them. Let's go for it. We've got Java Chip, Peanut Butter, Dark Chocolate Flavour. Dad would like them. He likes his dark chocolate. Mint, regular, double stuffed. So yeah, these are the only new ones I can see is Space, space Dunk. So we'll try them. Some space dunk Oreos, toffee crunch up there. Ooh, fudge covered. Chips Ahoy. Oh, so many good cookies, ginger snaps, fudge stripes, fudge covered peanut butter. Wow, some of these biscuits. All the crackers now as well. I'm going crackers, looking at all this stuff. Are you all drooling yet? Pop tarts. Everyone enjoys a pop tart. I'm not a pop tart fan. No, a lot of you are. Mr. Salty, Handy Sticks, Pretzel and Cheesy Dip, Moon Pies, Cheese It's, Twist and Shout. So these are like your own version, own brand of the Oreos. Good news, found them. Mini Diet Dr. Peppers. 10 cans, $6. Now, personally, I love all these grated cheeses. I've just got, I picked up a mild cheddar, own value, but all these different bags of grated cheese. I'll go in and just eat handfuls of this out of the bag. Sounds horrible, doesn't it? But yeah, I do love all these grated cheeses. That's gone in the basket. Here's our trolley so far. Got a few bits for dad to try. That'll be in a separate vlog. Some funny bits for dad to try. All your different milks now. So you have got all the different oat milks, coconut milk, all of that, soy milk up there as well and then your chocolate milk. Oh, the chocolate milk for me is amazing. The cheap one is just amazing. You love it, don't you? Yeah. 
And then just your own regular great value 2% milk, $3 for a big carton. Then we're going to head into all of these sections, which is normally where the prime is. I wonder what the American mini eggs will be like, but I'm going to show you one thing that you must try is these cream eggs but the american cream eggs now these are like cream eggs used to be back in the uk now we'll be buying a few boxes of them yeah. because they are very very nice indeed if you see cream eggs or scream eggs in america yes. get them they are totally different to what the uk ones are like and they are like cream eggs used to be yeah. back in the day Before make the sure you get some yeah. Yeah, they're dead smell are lovely, aren't they? We'll probably buy more of them before we go home. In fact, just pop, pop another two in, just, just to make sure. Thank you. Uh, what else have we got? Different little cookie bars and stuff. These are all set for Easter. But I'm telling you, try those cream eggs. You, will, you won't regret it. You can send me a message if you do. I'll buy the remaining ones off you if you don't like them. I'm going to get Dad some beef jerky to try. But there's so many different options. What do I get him? There's pepper, there's teriyaki, original, beef tender bites. And I want some of like the pro I want some of like the proper jerky, like eleven dollars though. I don't really want to pay eleven dollars. There's only a little challenge for him. I don't really wanna what about just standard great value beef jerky? Six dollars ninety-eight. Let's hope he likes it. Slim Jims. I don't personally see the deal with their uh, beef jerky. I really don't. It just doesn't do it for me. Oh no, no. What's the best shop in Orlando? Walmart. Here we go. I'm going to get myself some of the cherry freeze. I like them. Thank you very much. I'll have a couple of them for now. Four of them. You can just buy a big pack of them as well. I'm probably going to buy a pack of red. I'll have a pack of the old red. $13.48. Now, I genuinely just like these. A lot of people go mad at me in the comments. You shouldn't have Prime. Do -do -do. The Prime bottles of hydration aren't bad. It's the cans that are full of caffeine. And if you like them, you like them over here. I enjoy the flavours. They're flat. They're not fizzy. They're not full of sugar. And you can buy in America. You can buy all of these, which are... The sachets. We've had lemonade, haven't we? No, never had lemonade. Ah, okay. That's a new one. So we'll get a lemonade. Ah, yeah, there's lemonade and there's lemon. lemon so we'll get a lemonade. Now, you can't get these in the UK. These are the sachets, so you can mix them up at home if you want to. Dad's got quite a lot of these. He likes them. They're in with all the hydration stuff that you can add to your drinks, which is good for the parks, actually. But yeah, you can mix them up at home yourself. These are the cans that have been obviously all over the, the news and things with the amount of caffeine in them. They've got the new original energy drink, Prime Energy Original. I might get one just to try it um, and only drink half of it because I am well aware that the caffeine levels in this are crazy. However, that's the only flavour I haven't tried. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I'm going with the trend and all that. I'm being influenced, unfortunately. I'm normally a monster drinker, but we'll give the uh, Prime can a try. No new flavours of monster, is there? What about that one? The old Ruby Red, Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. Oh, that That's zero sugar. Let's try that. That looks quite nice. I do like to try different flavours. We'll give that one a whirl. I'm going to get one of these to try as well. A C4 Starbear Strawberry Zero Sugar. Nice. Laura, you know I mentioned about work and uniform and... Yeah. Trying to get some like uni shorts for uniform. Yeah. Well, I found some. They're only eight dollars ninety-eight. What do you think of them? Mm. For work? No chance. Like fire shorts. No chance. Be like, <laughs> shop with us. We're on fire. Oh my god, no. 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 Not going with it. What about if I got them in green? No. Or in red? I mean. Or in blue? Gold and red. Or in grey? No. Loads of great colours. Oh no. I don't know who's gonna buy them. Well, maybe, maybe a bit nuts then, aren't they? Yeah. A bit bright, aren't they? We're heading over to the uh, cosmetics and stuff now. I need some hairspray in case you haven't noticed from this vlog. I had a shower this morning, forgot my hairspray. Standard. Uh, a few other little bits that we need. Got all your uh, dad, grandma, nan, all your whole family Disney shirts you can wear to the parks in here. Loads of very good value Disney products, pajamas, cups, souvenirs. 
teddy bears, plushes, all much cheaper. They even got Harry Potter ones there for $15, which are good alternates to where uh, the theme park prices. Okay, so we are in the beauty section, but I just thought I'd show you their solutions. So I would always suggest getting a solution from England and bringing it over as it is a better quality than the American ones. However, you've got Copper Tone 30 for $12. So that's a big one. Moisturizers all day. UVA and UVB protection. You've then got a lot of it's copper tone. Let's have a look at banana boots. Okay, so this is a lot cheaper. At eight ninety seven fifty, so that's a better option. Then obviously, obviously you got the sprays. But be very careful with the sprays as they're not the best coverage. Just good to top up. And then obviously you've got your Equate six dollars SPF one hundred six dollars so that's not too bad so i have just picked up this two hair clamps super cute really really cute got loads of dead cute hair clamps i mean look those little tiny butterfly ones some really nice they're good bubbles i'll get myself some of them as well because i do like them so they've got all sorts headbands loads of different bubbles hair clips everything everything you could possibly need for your hair so i'll just show you the hair care in this shop it goes all the way to the end all on that side and then all the way back over for men and women they've got loads to choose from stuff that you'd get at home as well but stuff that you get out here which is slightly different from at home because they have different ingredients in them so always have a look because it might be a decent price i mean 350 that's a good price. A lot of people use Garnier. I don't, but a lot of people do. So it's 350, that's a good price. Okay, so we've just come outside because we're now gonna go in to the liquor store just to show you the prices of the liquor. I think it's cheaper to bring a bottle with you than it is to buy there in here, but we'll see. We're gonna show you around the liquor store a little bit, some beers as well. Here's all our shopping. Dad's got himself some, just nice and easy. Loads of lovely stuff in there for you to try, Dad. No, I'm not having any of this. <laughs> We're the oh. Okay, so Dad's coming for a bottle of brandy. So you got Martel, thirty-eight dollars. How much is a bottle of Martel at home, Dad? Um, I think it's cheaper than that, to be honest with you. Yeah, you probably know. would have got it cheaper in the duty free. But then look at this. We've got one I've never seen before. Blue Swift. Blue Swift. I mean, you know, Maybe you want to try fifty dollars? You know, you're gonna sit. Did you try something completely different? You got a massive bottle of Remy Martin there. Yeah. Jeez, huge. One hundred and twenty dollars for a Mind big you. bottle like that. Oh, Midori. Twenty-five dollars for the Midori. Uh, just give you some idea. Jameson's twenty-five dollars for a bottle. Uh, black yeah. label. Well, we eighty-seven, but it's a big bottle. It is massive, that. Gins. Oof. Come on, eh? How much is that? Definitely. And then you've got tankery here, your different flavoured tankeries, $18.98 plus tax on top. Your regular tankery, 18 Bombay, 23 Japanese, oh, $30 for the Japanese one. Um, Mikau, Mikau Cognac, $20. Now, that's going to be like your three barrels of home. That's, that's not going to be good, is it? It's you don't not, think it's not going to be great, that. Right. Something. Try something different, but yeah. Gonna, Try a different one. I'm Swift. Like, you might like it. No, your swing Remy is your three barrels. $14 oh, for a BSOP. You know what? That's what they sell. <laughs> BSOP. On an absolute. Sink Remy. <laughs> you, would, you, you wouldn't put it in your trifle. <laughs> it was $20. For that giant bottle? That's like oh, at least wow. a lot. Thank you. $20. That's a lot. You said it was going to be cheaper in the end. Some of it is though, I think. Some of it is, let me know. DeSerrano, $28 for a standard bottle. Giant bottle, 55 So your uh, regular Smirnoff vodka, 19 23 for your Captain Morgan's spiced. Here's all your, yeah, here's all your Bacardis here, different flavors. Look at that, dragon fruit, dragon berry. That is That's interesting. Wow, it's a lot. Look at the, look at the giant bottle of Kraken. What about your coconut Bacardi? You love that. 
for a small one. Yeah, you might as well get the big one. Yeah. And what about coconut Bacardi? You like the coconut Bacardi? Okay. Or there's mango. Malibu, how much is a standard bottle of Malibu? $23. Yeah. There's a few different uh, Malibus there as well. What's Malibu Black? With, uh, what's that? With coconut liqueur and rum. Ooh, so that's rum and coconut, that one. Strawberry Malibu. Watermelon. Pineapple. A lot of different Malibu. That looks interesting, that one. If you like your spiced rum, 70 proof. Get on it. Get on it. I like seeing all the different flavours, apple sliced, uh, cherry vanilla, some different flavours in here, premium, it's all kinds, pineapple rum, coconut, wow, and then your big bottles of Grey Goose, 25 for a standard bottle, 47 for a giant bottle, absolute raspberry, $18, all add tax on at the end though, remember? Just enjoying your show with some of these different flavours. You've got pink lemonade, mango pineapple, raspberry, uh, red, white and berry, peach lemonade. What have you gone for? Corvoisier BSOP. What's that? I like Corvoisier. Nice. That's different. One. Okay. How much is that? How much is that? Uh, $50. $50, yeah. Well, it's special. So, you know, we're going to... Right. You know the one I spotted around there? The yeah. Hotel? Yeah. Spirit, whatever, blue, whatever. It, it's brandy. That's put into a bourbon. Ah, right. I'm not a fan of bourbon. You're not a bourbon kind of guy. No, I'm not. Strawberry and cream guy. Baileys. Fireball. If you've not tried a fireball, you've got to try one. We've got a party pack and everything here. Fireballs, cinnamon. Good shots there. If you want to get your friends back, ask, order a fireball, get them back. Right, we're back having a chill. Come on then, I want to see you get on the, uh, you the dolphin here. Dolphin? Yes. Go on. You put your left leg in, your right leg out. <laughs> right, 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 now hold the handles. Further on it. Useless. You are useless. <laughs> is it nice and warm? Is it, is it nice and warm in there? It's toasty. Toasty. It's toasty. What do you mean? It says. Can you lie on the back of that? Oh, I see. It's for a child. Oh, we are. Well, we are. Try, try the turtle. He might have a bit more support for you. I'm going to go to the other end, right? There you go. Look. Sorted. <laughs> Well, good evening everyone. We're a bit refreshed. We are showered. We are chilled. A few of us have had a nap. I've done a bit of editing and we are now off out to Disney Springs this evening. Uh, so join us for that. We're going to hopefully head uh, to the new Lakeside restaurant. However, I've just looked online and the soonest reservation is at 10 p.m. So we're going to have another crack at doing a walk up reservation. It didn't go so well at Space 220 today. It is a Friday, so um, but there's no stress if we don't get in. We will go another night and I'll make sure that we make a reservation. Uh, but your first few days, just getting a feel of things, seeing how things are. So we'll see if we can do a walk-up reservation, which a lot of these places do. You know, they might say, come back in an hour, etc. We'll have a mooch around the shops. Or they might say, you've got no chance. Uh, in which case, we've always got a backup. Worst comes to worst, we'll have a Blaze pizza or a Chicken Guys. It's no uh, big stress. But yeah, that's where we're heading to, Disney Springs. We'll have a mooch around. It's uh, still been very very nice today the house clouded over a little bit we're meant to be getting a little bit of rain tomorrow and also uh, the following day which is sunday so this weekend meant to be a little bit rainy but we're in florida it doesn't matter there's so much to do we had a little discussion before about a couple of things that we can do if it does rain including a nature drive maybe top golf shopping things like that so 
we really don't stress about the weather when we come to Florida. There's so much to do. It's, uh, it's never a real concern. I've been drinking a little bit of a bottle of Prime as well that we bought earlier. So we'll uh, jump in the car and make a move. All parked up. We've gone for the uh, outdoor parking today, just by the Cirque du Soleil. So we're entering just by the House of Blues, near the restaurant we want to go to. Looks like these are all heading in. It could be a busy, busy night in here. We're about to find out. The roads are being busy, but as long as you expect it, doesn't matter. Had a good day, Laura? Had a great day. Lovely day, lovely chilled afternoon. And I'm ready to have a nice evening Disney Springs. Yeah, nice yeah. little mooch and a wonder. But I do, I'm going to ask you all, do read all your comments, and I love hearing about your little routines. Everyone's different. Everyone does different things. Let us know your first day routine. I know a lot of you, oh, we're straight to Magic Kingdom all day. We do this, we do that. So let us know. We try and mix it up if we can. Keep things a little bit different. Yeah, we sort of just decide the day what we're feeling, don't we? Yeah, yeah. but uh, if you do have a particular little routine, let us know. Let us know yeah, what you get up to. Some people are dead set on going to certain parks and do, yeah. having a certain meal. Or eating in a certain place yeah. or going somewhere. So let us know. It's good fun. So this is where we're aiming for, the summer house on the lake. It looks absolutely stunning. But as you can see, it is busy, busy. We'll see what we can get done. The menu looks amazing here. I've seen some vlogs in here. So I think I watched the Tim Tracker one where they tried different food and showed the menu and it did look really nice. I like the vibe of it as well. Now we'll see what we can do. Okay, so success everyone. I've just queued up just here. Spoken to them, I said I've struggled to make a reservation online and we can go back in 30 minutes and they should have a little table for us. So there we go. Perfect, we're gonna try Summer House for dinner. We're just now in the new candle shop just here. This used to be further around by the Christmas store. It's now in here. And this is where you can uh, build your own candles and everything. Oh yeah. You can uh, make your own candles. Ooh, Florida Orange Grove. We have theme park fragrances. So okay. From the resort lobbies are going to be back over here. And right. scents from the attraction experiences along the wall there. Ah, okay. Which is the most popular? Which candle sells them? It's used in both resorts and in the attractions. Right. Um, recognized Which attractions by. this on, do you know? A uh, bit oh. of Pandora. Oh, very uh, good. Okay, very there good you go. Good nose, good nose. And what resort is that? Because I'm sure I've smelled that. Is that in a... Um, one that's like very Hawaiian. Grand-like one. Ah, uh, Grand Floridian. There you go. There you go. Oh, Floridian. Yeah, yeah popped in, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. So there you go, you can buy them in the little scents or you can buy them in the sprays or you can have uh, look at hand sanitizer Laura in yeah. Clover World. Which one, did you, which, which one did you know the smell of then? I knew, I knew a couple of them. So that's that's um, Pandora that one, which Flight one? of Passage. This yeah. whole range here. Oops, sorry. This is Pandora. Yeah. Nice isn't it? <laughs> Just those little things, yeah, yeah the candles yeah, are, are okay. One of those with them in it, but I think the sanitizer spray and the sanitizer, that was nice. How much is the sanitizer? 22. Nice, good little option. We'll pop back for that. You can build your own candle in here as well. You can get your own little nice candle going, you know what I mean? Build my own candle. Put your own scent in it and everything on this table, look. We'll do that, like do that one day. Garvey scent. Yeah. Hey. That would sell, wouldn't it? Eau de Garvey. <laughs> Eau de Garvey. <laughs> so there's a really lovely uh, cast member in there, or staff member. And uh, the oil is bad for animals if they ingest it, the pure oil. Just put a couple of drops in a diffuser is fine. She was saying she's got three cats, no issues. Uh, but yeah, do be careful with those oils that you put in the diffuser. But uh, if you just put a couple of drops in into the, the actual diffuser itself, she said it's fine. But yeah, nice little shop that. Might uh, go back 
and build a candle one day. Yeah. Stafford Dead Friendly. The smell coming out of here is amazing. The candy cauldron. And get to see the uh, toffee apples getting made. There you go. Look at all these different toffee ap apple cutting all the excess chocolate off there. Look at them. I, I asked a question last time in our vlogs. What would people like to do if they had to have a job in Disney? This. What job would you like? This job. This would probably be one of them, wouldn't it? That yeah. people would choose. Yeah. A lot of people chose, the most popular choice was to be a tram or monorail driver. Yeah. If you had to have a job in Disney, Mum, what would you have? Ooh, what God. would you do? You can be anything. You can be someone who sets the rides going. You can be an engineer, a cleaner. Someone who sets the rides going. Uh, one of those ones, like, yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's a job. Uh, or monorail driver, tram driver. No, I wouldn't like to actually drive. I'd like to. Okay, right. That's fair enough. Nice. Everyone has their own little things. So, some people would definitely say they'd like to be doing this, putting the chocolate on. Now, look at that, snipping all the excess chocolate off. Right, I'll tell you what, though, you'd go home hungry, wouldn't you? Smelling the chocolate all day. So just having a look at some of the Oakleys being ironed up, potentially a new pair. I got these last time, the titaniums, but with the silver frame with the blue lens. These here are all gaming glasses. So you can actually get my glasses with the uh, for gaming. If you sit home and uh, game, this reduces all the, the harmful light. They look really good, Laura. So yeah, they're all gay. I didn't know they did gaming glasses. That's pretty cool. I did quite like these. Let me know your thoughts on these, everyone. I quite like them. And then a lot of people ask me about the, the lenses, the prism lenses, and you can actually get them in a uh, prescription. So here's all the different colours, and these are all options to get prescriptions as well. So a lot of people ask me about these. So it's, uh, it's good to see, good to know. There's also another cool new pair over here I'm going to show you. So these ones are all new. Very, very unusual, very different. But yeah, you can get those prism lenses in prescription. They're not cheap, but they're very, very good lenses. Yeah. I love the prisms. You Wouldn't live without them. If you your sunglasses and you do like yeah. the prisms. And you can also get them. I didn't know they did gaming glasses. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I quite like these, but they didn't really suit me. But yeah, these are all new. They've also got a very exclusive pair over there. Five hundred dollars, which is mental. Absolutely mental for five hundred dollars. Crazy. So we just come inside, you've got the nice little bar area here. On the left is a huge cookie bar where you don't have to have a reservation for the restaurant. You can buy some cookies, which is really cool. Here's all the kitchen and we're just gonna try and find mum and dad. They've already got their seat in the restaurant. There they are. Look at it in here. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So this is the main restaurant area. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This is nice, isn't it? And look at that, it's open air as well. You've got the fresh air coming in. Well, this is nice. Oh, hey, well, you forgot your glasses. Now you can't see. Oh, hey, Laura's going to read the menu. I'm going to show you all the menu in a moment. Here's a good look at the menu. Do you like the sound of the caramel, caramelized Brussels sprites? And we've got different pizzas, sandwiches, crispy chicken sandwich sounds good. Pasta. Some nice looking crispy. I might go for that. Famous hair chicken. Depends if that's on the bone or not. I've seen the food on vlogs and it does look amazing in here. Then here's all your cocktails, different house, uh, house cocktails and speciality cocktails and wines as well. Florida sunshine. Okay, so they're doing a bit different here, but just ordered drinks and starters. The starters have come already very quickly. These are the caramelized Brussels sprouts. They smell really good actually. Really good. Yeah. Got cocktails on the way as well. <laughs> cocktails on the way as well. But, uh, oh they're looking God. just a minute, give them a go. Yeah. Come on, give them a try, Laura. See what you think of these. Caramelized sprouts. They're covered in balsamic vinegar. Laura loves vinegar. No. They don't taste too vinegary? No, you don't like them. Because I don't do vinegar, but they do no, smell amazing. Right, I'm going to give it a go. Yeah. 
Okay, so I've just tried one of them. They are very interesting. They are nice. You will like them, Mum. We've got some uh, corn chips. We've got the... What was this, Laura? This is the... Cornbread, the jalapeno, jalapeno cornbread. Jalapeno cornbread, which I'm going to give a try off. Different dips there as well. Do you like them? They're good, aren't they? Very different, aren't they? Nice. Dad, you've got to give one of them a try. Let us know what you think of that. Caramelized sprouts with Parmesan cheese on the top. What are you thinking on them? They're nice, aren't they? Different. Very different. So this is the jalapeno, and this is like, it's like a scone, but with like a Mexican hint to it. Gorgeous, sweet but salty. And then these here are the cheese puffs. These look incredible as well. So we've ordered a lot here. I think we should go easy on the mains, guys. But the food's amazing. What do you think of that, uh, the jalapeno bread? Stunning, isn't it? So this is the cheese puff and it is gorgeous. It's like, it's hard to explain. It's, it's a Italian cheese bread. Yeah, it's like a cheese bread. Just, this is very unique. This is gorgeous. Mexican, bit of spicy, but it's like a sweet scone. It's very unique. And then the dip, this dip here, which is quite spicy with the nachos. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go next. It's all amazing. Yeah. Well, we're all a bit blown away by how good this food is. It was literally here within two minutes of ordering it. It's so unique. That Caribbean bread is a is a is a must it's try. Caribbean. It's uh, Caribbean. What is it? Caribbean. It wasn't uh, jalapeno bread, I should say. <laughs> With the honey bus. I don't know where I got Caribbean from. It is quite Caribbean vibes in here. That's probably why. And then the cheese puffs are really nice. Laura can eat those. They're gluten free. The um, Sprouts are stunning, they're very unique, very different. Even though I don't like vinegar, they're not over the top vinegar. I'm not a huge Parmesan fan, but they can't really taste it. It's gorgeous, they are. They're gluten free as well. The uh, tortillas are gluten free. Guacamole is so fresh. Yeah. The only thing Laura can't have is the, is the cornbread, which uh, you would love, Laura, if you could try it. Now tell me about your drinks. You went for a couple of cocktails there. Mum's gone for a, what was it, a Florida, an Orlando spritz was it? And Laura, you've gone for, what's this one here? Ticket to Paradise. Ticket to Paradise. So main juice and tequila. Okay, tequila based. But now the food's amazing. We haven't ordered mains yet. It's a good job, because I think we're all gonna probably reduce our main order now. It's uh it is stunning food though, I'll come back here. You're loving it, aren't you? Loving the food though, aren't you? Well, the food is just amazing. I've eaten so much there, I've not ordered a main. <laughs> because, no, I'm, we're definitely going to be coming back because we're loving the food. I'm going to save it so when I come back, I can have a main without having all. If I yeah. eat a main now, I'll be eating it for the sake of it. We, we bypass the starters next time. Laura's ordered a gluten free chicken sandwich. Mum's full as well. Dad's I've ordered, ordered a deviled egg. But I am going to save room for a little dessert. So def we'll definitely be back in here 100%. That was all gorgeous. Stunning. So I'm going to save the chicken sandwich and when we come back, we won't have a, any, yeah, I won't have a starter. No or Mum can, but I'm going to, no starter and I'll go straight in for a main. But the service, food, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Really good. So here's a little look at the dessert menu in the meantime. We've got a fudge layer cake, which sounds very interesting. A warm gooey lemon butter cake, which sounds amazing as well. A frozen key lime meringue pie. Oh, that sounds good with a graham, graham crust and shredded coconut. Not sure about the shredded coconut though. I don't normally do coconut. Then here are all the cookies. These are all the cookies you can buy next door if you just want to pop in. Uh, ooh, lemon one, M&M, and &M. Ooh, hey. and you've got different coffees as well. Tough choice, what would you go for? Would you go for a cookie? Do they come like warm with ice cream, I wonder? Or the frozen key lime meringue or the lemon? Ooh, tough choice.
So I've just come to show you the little cookie bar. So you can just walk up here and buy yourself a cookie, you treat yourself. Here's some of them in there. It's good to see actually I'm eyeing up a cookie for dessert, so I'm just seeing what they've got. The egg and itchy pop in, there's all nice shirts and stuff. Different cocktails and coffees you can get to take away. Now, I'm loving it in here. This is really my vibe. The M&M cookie looks good there. And so does the fudge, uh, fudge bomb as well. That looks really good. Wow. Some of this looks incredible. Wow. Looks really nice. Just love the theming as well. So yeah, you can literally just pop in from the street here. Just walk up and uh, get in the queue. Grab yourself a nice uh, cookie or a little dessert. Okay, here's Dad's deviled egg. So they uh, cut the egg open, take out the uh, egg yolk, and then they refill it. So that may look uh, very different. And here is Laura's gluten-free crispy chicken sandwich. That looks amazing for gluten-free. You would never tell. So some great gluten-free options in here. I even like the little look of the skinny fries. Going to try a couple of them. Oh, oh they're going to go everywhere. Wait, hey, there we go. Nice. Nice, yeah. Something a bit different. Okay, so here is my fudge cookie. Look at that. Warmed up with ice cream. Mum's gone for just a straight up ginger snap. Who chicken out of a mains? Oh, I chickened out of a mains, but the size of the fudge cake was ginormous. So I've gone with a cookie. This looks amazing. Okay, so here is the bill then for everything we've had. 152. So is. You know, you're gonna pay the price in here, but it's stunning. The, the service is amazing. The the setting is amazing. Really, and, and if you eat all the food, I always say it's worth it if you eat everything, isn't it? Yeah. Included in that though was two cocktails and a beer. Two cocktails and beer, that adds up. We've had two cookies. We've had a lot, really. Sandwiches, sprouts, all kinds. I've had about three sprites as well on the refill. But no, definitely coming back. We're gonna, on the way out, ask about booking a table next week with a lake view out there well great food great meal great day really like really really enjoyed that we're just having a little wander now very busy but a great atmosphere still don't understand the big deal with gideon's i might have to try it this trip but i just don't get it the queues they just don't look attractive to me in my opinion but maybe i will have to you know actually try it and tick it off the list but yeah, people queuing up on hours and hours for a cookie. I just don't get it. I really don't. The cookie in there was stunning. You only have to wait five minutes and there you go. You've got it. A virtual queue for a cookie. I think it's just insane. But uh, if you've had one, maybe they're worth it. We'll see. I might try one this trip in the, in the next two weeks. There you go, live band on. Well, the Disney, let's see what's going on in here. Go, they even do a cup to match the outfit that you like, Laura. You can have the spirit jersey, the ears, the bag, and also the cup. How cheap would like you be walking around? Like a 300 quid outfit, though. <laughs> it is nice, I do like the colour. Yeah. See if anything jumps out at us in here that we haven't seen in the park so far. They're going to get this for Dad. The Walt Disney turkey leg t-shirt. That's hilarious. Turkey leg. That one's quite fun in the shape of Mickey. So Laura's loving the look of all these new Starbucks to go cups. You've got Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot. They are nice, aren't they? But these are $45 plus tax each. You're looking at $200 for a set of four. Which, which is I, just... I would actually never use. I don't even put them up as... Crazy. Nice as they are. Just kind of cool. Now we did see one in Epcot that had that just said Walt Disney World and had a bit yeah. from each park on it, which was good. Lovely set. If you can afford it, and you can display them and stuff. But uh, yeah, not cheap. Forty-five dollars plus tax each. So just finishing up in World of Disney. Off a little nightcap somewhere. Yeah. It looks like a divvy. Right. It looks like an absolute divvy. I'm ready for a bit of. Hollywood Studios or something. Well, like a bit of a park life. The sun is really hot, you've got to stay nice and protected. 
thought this was great. No, no, no chance. Well, Laura's doing it. Just doing it. The theory is, I mean, you're going to deliberate it for ages. If you're going to get it, you might as well get it now and be able to wear it for two weeks because yeah. well, you're wearing spirit jerseys because the temperature. You need your ears. If you're going to get it, you might as well get it now and be able to wear it for two weeks. So, you might as well get the use of it. So, just your little holiday treat. And at least you can wear it all and make the most of it. They do, they do suit you, the ears. I like them. And you've never had a pair that are quite leather? No, yeah. Well, there you go. We will get annual pass discount on it all, though, so we will confirm the price and how much discount we got uh, once uh, Laura pays. So, as you saw there on the screen, $45 Laura got off that whole little set there. So, one eighty in total for the bag, the ears and the... Uh, yeah, basically $45 off. It's a big saving, isn't it? Yeah. Big saving. Some people are having a little boogie there. We're on our way back to meet mum and dad. We're starting to flag a bit now. It's coming up to 10 o'clock. Flagging a little bit. Well, we just had a little drink in House of Blues. How much was your uh, beer then, dad? Disney price. How much? Ultra. One tin, not even a pint. $7.50. $7.50 for a can of Michelob for three quarters of a pint. Not even that. Not oh even that. Nah. It came up to the. Jeez. Oh, I tell you, they've got your all wet a barrel. Okay, everyone. Well, that concludes a very busy day one. I am absolutely knackered. Uh, thank you all very much for following along. If you have enjoyed it, do please give a thumbs up and uh, make sure you do subscribe as well. It's free. Loads more Florida vlogs on the way. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely off to bed, up early, out and about tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But uh, thank you all very much for, much for watching. There you go, I'm slurring my words, I'm not tired. Restaurant was amazing, I really enjoyed that, it was gorgeous. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and stride on.